What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing the last of the Juventus epics. So we've already covered Del Piero and Davids and now we are going to be taking a look at Nedved. So a lot of people have been asking me about Nedved. Personally for me he was one of my favorite players in PES 2021, especially with co-op. He was an absolute beast in PES 2021's co-op. But I do feel like that he is kind of a little bit lost in this game unless you really train him effectively and you, you kind of plan on playing him um, as one of your main guys so you do need to add a couple of player skills for him depending on if you want to play him as kind of like an advanced type player like it's going to be attacking very offensively or if somebody you know somebody that needs one touch pass you will need to add that as well right so his base card obviously can play left right or through the middle in an amf or an uh, cmf role okay he can't play dmf and he can't play on either wing or up front obviously now i think the biggest thing with nedved to kind of think about is that if you are playing him on the left or right flank um he is down as a roaming flank his play style is roman flank he can play left or right equally as good but i think his main strengths come very decently from his passing and his ability to be able to get around the pitch very he's very mobile player right i have played with him quite a bit um throughout the last couple of weeks uh or days as well um testing out different things on my xbox account um we do have nedvid on that but for me personally speaking i think that this version of him is just slightly a little bit below what you can also get out there at the moment you know and the big thing is right if you're playing a 352 with two really hard working left and right midfielders you were always, in my opinion, you're kind of better off going with kind of either really attacking options or else really kind of defensive options, you know, where you have high aggression and stuff. Um, and that's where kind of I think Nedved really lacks no matter how you train him up. But anyway, we will get into him. Um, he does have unwavering form. He does have true passing. He does have pinpoint crossing. He also has long ranger, but he doesn't have early cross. We're going to get to that in a second with the alternative that we have for him we are going to give you two options as well one is a cmf and the other is a left or right sided player depending on how you want to set up your system your tactics and your formation right so we'll keep it short and sweet so the first version of him that we're going to look at is a 96 overall center midfielder okay so we've maxed out the passing with 10 we've also put eight into dribbling seven into dexterity and defending and then six into lower body Again, lads, you can tweak this as you want. There is kind of no def definitive build of certain players because, for example, you might like to have the passing a little bit higher or the defense a little bit lower or the, the dribbling and the tight possession a little higher. You might say, right, I'm going to play Nedved in the middle and I'm going to have an anchorman and a destroyer behind him so I don't need to have that aggression up. And if you do, then you can just simply, you know, take that off and put it into dribbling and then be able to have 80, uh, 8 dribbling, 88 ball control. That is probably an attack and base version of him, which I think is probably the best if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck with Nedved in that kind of center midfield role, okay? Um, or that attack and midfield role, okay? Because you've got 88 in ball control, dribbling, low pass, balance, and then 86 in kick and power if you want to take a few shots. And of course, you've got the acceleration and speed above 80 with very high stamina. When you get the form arrow, you're going to have the main stats that you need with passing and dribbling uh, that are going to be over 90, right? Or 90 plus, okay? So I definitely think that that's a good version of him. As I've said, if you are finding it a bit difficult and you want to play him in a two-man pivot, you want to play a DMF anchorman or slash destroyer, and you want Nedved as your center midfielder, I think it's kind of a waste of the card. It's kind of like playing Messi up front or Messi on the wing and not shooting with him. You know, you're better off go for speed like Dembele or Sané or Mane or one of those guys that are just blistering pace. Even though a lot of people still complain about the acceleration and stuff, it's more about their balance when they get the ball and touch and go, right? That's a whole different video. So for this build of Nedved, go on center mid. I think there's a couple of issues wrong with this card. Now, he will play above his stats. I know a lot of people that I've talked to say that he is a demon to get around the pitch. He's kind of like Matthaus in how he handles himself on the pitch. Defensively, even though his aggression is low, his tackling, he can win you the ball because of the AI and the defensive nature of the gameplay. But I do feel like at the moment that the biggest thing with this lads genuinely is the fact that 
if you are going to be using Nedved in your main kind of epic build squad and taking up a slot that could be filled by somebody else, like, you know, a player of the week, Pedri, who's more creative and more attacking but can still defend, or you're going to be taking it up instead of like Caicedo or Makaleli or Davids or Mataus, somebody that can do a lot of different roles. You have to be sure as to whether or not you want to put him in there. So what I would do is I would definitely probably improve him as a left midfielder, right? Or a right midfielder. He goes to a 96 here. We've maxed out acceleration, balance, stamina, and of course, we've uh, maxed out his passing as well. Now, he doesn't have early cross, right? So if you are a good like player of the game and you don't need to have the ball at your feet too long, you play a lot of possession, one touch pass isn't a necessity on this car, but it would be huge, especially if you're playing this. And I would also probably add um, the fact that this is a very system-based player if you're going to be using him, right? He does have pinpoint crossing and outside curler. And he also has true passing and low lofted pass, right? So for me, I'm just going to be taking a lot of crosses into the box, maybe pair him with collar up front um, and kind of have that going for him. Uh, if it was a case of, you know, collar is up top, Nevid's on the left flank or right flank, you know, you could switch with a sub tactic. It could work really effectively, okay? You've got 88 into the low pass. You've got 88 acceleration. And then, of course, you've got your speed, stamina, and balance all very high. His dribbling is quite low on this card for a left or right midfielder, but you're not needing him to be, you know, beating wing players. So that is just something to keep in mind there as well if you're looking at going that route with him. Now, I would say for an alternative, a GP alternative, you might find that Robertson is a kind of a slightly strange choice to pick, but his standard form is quite beastly, man. He's got pinpoint crossing. He's also got early cross and speeding bullet, and he also has one touch pass with weighted pass. And of course, his interception and man marking skills would come in handy as well without, you know, you can just play him as a left back, like a left midfielder or a left back. He goes to a 92 overall, as you see here with these stats, he's going to have 88 acceleration, 88 lofted pass and the dribbling is quite the same. OK, and he's only going to cost you about 200,000 GP. So that is just an alternative for him. But yeah, it depends on the system that you're using. It depends the formation. For me, I would find that like with future updates of the game, I would say that it's going to be more about the players, how they are in their positions. At the moment, you know, you can get by with using a DMF who can play right back or left back. You can get by with using him in that role if he's got the player skills and he's got high acceleration. I know a lot of people complain sometimes and say, oh, the acceleration and the speed doesn't really matter because, you know, um, Thiago Silva can catch Mbappe or whatever, right? There is different variances of that, as you see over the course of a division, over 10 games. You will see, you know, certain strikers brushing past people if you're able to dribble with them effectively, okay? So I think for somebody like Robertson, if you are looking to get him to swing balls in, that's going to be his main role as a left-sided um, player, like a left wing back, okay? So Nedved is definitely worth it if you get him in your pursuit of anybody else, but I genuinely do think you need to have your system locked tight if you are looking to get up those divisions. So that's a very simple training guide. You've got the CMF version and you've got the left-sided or right-sided version there as well. So that's it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Peace.